Welcome to the Dog and Balls Network. My name's Boogie Bentley. I want to talk a little bit of recruiting with you right now in the class of 2025. Tennessee currently sitting just inside the top 15 at 14th. Nine players committed in this class. Of course, you're headlined uh, by five-star quarterback George McIntyre. You've also landed a couple of big-time in-state prospects with Ethan Utley, Radarius Jackson. The next couple of months are going to be pretty busy, right? Some of the guys that are on Tennessee's board that Tennessee has a legitimate shot at going to be coming off of those boards uh, over the next couple of months. May the 21st, three-star interior offensive lineman Antony Aguimoro. We've also got a few in June. Jalen Matthews, four-star offensive tackle. Charles House, three-star defensive lineman. Desan Brame, four-star tight end, all coming off the board in June. July the 4th, you've got Zion Grady, a four-star edge rusher. I think Tennessee needs to close. You know, having a conversation this week with some of you guys about Josh Heupel and how he's done in the world of recruiting since arriving at Tennessee, and I don't feel like we can really get a fair gauge on what he's been able to do because of the NCAA investigation, everything that he was dealing with. Now, that's in the past, and I think now is when we can start to judge Josh Heupel and see what he's able to do on the recruiting trail. Is he able to close on some of these big-time guys? Is he able to close on a guy like David Sanders? Uh, we'll see. How, how would you grade Josh Heupel? Put it in the chat right now. In his first three years at Tennessee, B+, plus, would you give him an A? How do you think he's done based on the circumstances? I think that's something uh, that is only fair to look at but again talking about the class of 2025 throughout the month of june and july a lot of official visits are going to start to take place one of those from a georgia linebacker commit four-star linebacker Jaden perlotti has locked in official visits to alabama miami Auburn, Tennessee, and Georgia. Now, I always think it's interesting when a kid that's committed, a kid that's locked in, he's been committed to Georgia since December of 2022. So why take the official visits? If there's no interest, why would you take those visits? This is a quote uh, that he told Dogs HQ, says it's getting down to the real deal. A lot of the stuff that you hear on social media and blah, blah, blah. I would say that the Talking Balls Network is probably, probably fits in that blah, blah, blah that he's talking about. Now it's coming down to the real deal deal really just taking my time trying to pay attention to my parents and listen been praying a lot i know georgia is the best place for me but there are other places out there too i'm taking it day by day now i i've, I've saw some interview, interviews with him uh, where he said the georgia staff has actually encouraged him to take these visits go soak it in see what you think and then come back to georgia and again interesting to see the way the visits are laid out there Alabama first, Auburn, Miami on June the 7th, Tennessee on June the 14th, and then he'll wrap things up with Georgia on June the 21st. But why not shoot your shot? He is an elite playmaker. We'll get into it. We'll look at his profile. We'll look at some highlights. We'll look at a scouting report. He is a legitimate player that would be an impact guy at Tennessee. And I think that linebacker room is pretty good right now. I think William Inge has a lot of talent to work with. We'll see how he does on the recruiting trail at Tennessee. But something else worth noting here. Uh, with Jaden Pilati is he is also teammates with running back Justin Baker, who has been committed to Tennessee since October of last year. We're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. But as always, I need you guys to do that YouTube stuff for me. Smash the thumbs up just below this video. It's quick, free, easy. Uh, it helps the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if it's your first time on the Talking Balls Network, welcome. Uh, we're not experts here. We're not insiders. We're not media. We don't pretend to be any of that. This channel is for the fans, by the fans. If you like what we do, make sure you subscribe. Click that bell for notifications so you don't miss out when we go live. We're going to try to cover as many of these live decisions as possible. All the ones I just rattled off at the top of the show throughout May, June, and July. We're going to try to cover them live right here on the channel. Maybe some recruiting live streams as visits start to take place. Keep you guys up to date. Interactive, man. That's what I like is getting your, your feedback, giving our opinions. That's what this thing is about. The Talking Balls community. Also, one last quick note. Uh, NCAA Knights are moving to Thursday for the rest of May. So make that a note. We will be going live every Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time, doing NCAA just like we always do. Uh, just moving that from Tuesday to Thursday. Got some stuff going on around here. But let's take a look at the profile again. Jaden Perlotti, a uh, four-star linebacker, 6'3", 200 pounds. Uh, if you look at the on three industry rankings, ranked 119th nationally, a top 15 linebacker in the country. We'll go ahead and get his uh, highlights up here. I like to let you guys look at the highlights on the screen. One thing is for certain uh, he does like violence he likes violence he likes contact and that's something you know we've seen a lot of right in this linebacker room when, when, when we've done the film breakdowns on Jeremiah T. Lander when we did the film breakdown on Edwin Spillman they, they play with a chip on their shoulder they play aggressively and I think you see the same thing with Jaden Perlotti look at the violence 
Violence is the best way to describe his game. Uh, but if you go over to 247 Sports, you take a look at Greg Biggins, national recruiting analyst, has a game tailor-made for the next level because of his positional versatility. Shows off rare combination of size, compete level, and athleticism. Can line up about three to four different spots. Uh, projectable frame at 6'3 and a half, 210 pounds. Plays both linebacker and safety. Uh, he has exceptional lateral mobility, can drop and cover, and plays with a consistent motor. Uh, goes on to say here he, he routinely covers wide receivers down the field in seven versus seven and is very comfortable playing in space. Can blitz off the edge, has the speed to run down plays from behind, uh, plays with maniacal effort and motor and has a nice mean streak to him as well. Uh, he's a very twitchy player who reads and reacts quickly. Uh, can change direction, get off blocks, and is a huge hitter, really doesn't have a discernible weakness and has the kind of all-around game that should allow him to see the field as a true freshman. Now, would he have that opportunity at Georgia? We are getting to the place at Tennessee when we talk about depth and closing the gap. We're getting to the point where it's going to be hard for freshmen to come in and compete for playing time, but I think Josh Heupel is showing that the best man will play. We're seeing that with Mike Matthews, right? And I think that's a selling point when you can go to these kids and say, hey, if you're good enough if you've got that Mike Matthews type of athleticism and capability then you're going to have an opportunity to get out there as a true freshman but the linebacker room is pretty full but again I always think it's interesting why take these visits does Tennessee have a shot a lot of people are going to comment and say Boogie he's locked into the balls if he or to the dogs if he's locked into the dogs then why is he scheduling official visits to Alabama Miami Auburn and Tennessee outside of Georgia you've got an opportunity you've got your shot uh, he's been to Knoxville before not recently uh, but if you go find on the Twitter machine, you can see this picture, this graphic from 2023. Uh, he's been here before. Again, not been here that often. Uh, Vols offered extremely early back in January of 2022. I thought it was interesting note. Uh, I located this, that he actually attended his first Vol football game at the age of four or five. Said he came with family friends that are die hard. Tennessee fans. Again, hasn't been on, uh, in Knoxville this year, but he was on Rocky Top on April the 1st of last year. Uh, coming off of that visit, said he's really close to Coach Heupel, Coach, ba uh, Coach Banks, and Coach Bryan, so that's worth noting. You got the change there at the linebacker coach. Brian Jean-Marie no longer here. William Inge steps in, but I think William Inge has proven that he can develop talent, and I'm excited to see what Coach Inge can do with this linebacker room. Uh, says, I've talked to them all the whole time. They're always coming up to my spring practices to watch me. That's all also something worth noting, even though he's not been on campus in 2024, the ball assistant coaches were out on the road the past couple of weeks recruiting. Wednesday, Darrell Sims and William Inge visited Buford High School uh, where Jaden Pilati plays football because, again, current running back commit Justin Baker, also uh, a student there at Buford High School. So Darrell Sims was there to see him. William Inge came along for the trip and had a time, had some time to sit down with Jaden Pilati as well. So the coaching staff was out on the road making uh, – a recruiting trip, visiting him, talking with him. He's talked a lot about the facilities at Tennessee, talked a lot about the coaching staff, the atmosphere. Tennessee's going to have an opportunity to shoot their shot coming up as he takes that official visit on June the 14th. We'll keep you guys up to date. Again, tons of recruiting news and content coming your way. It's going to be a busy, busy summer, but I'm excited. I enjoy covering recruiting. I love talking recruiting. It's an emotional roller coaster, man. We always laugh and say it's fluid. It's it's constantly changing. It's only gotten worse with the NIL, NIL world. But does Tennessee have a legitimate shot with Jaden Perlotti? Let's talk about it in the comment section. As always, do me a favor, guys. Smash the thumbs up on the way out the door. I want to give a quick shout out to the members of the channel. If you're not a member, if you don't have a power T beside your name, think about hitting that join button. It's just $1. If you watch every video, if you like the content, the live streams, if you like the community aspect of this channel, think about hitting that join button again. Just a dollar a month, you get custom talking balls emojis, access to fan call-in shows, all kinds of fun perks and benefits, but you're also supporting this channel. For the fans, by the fans, also fan funded. Also, go check out the merchandise. Uh, you can go to bonfire.com slash store slash talking balls. All the links to join the channel, to become a member, uh, to check out the merchandise there, also in the description down below. But that is going to do it for this one. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you guys have a great Saturday. This is the Talking Balls Network. My name's Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange.